All right. Good morning, everybody. Going to do some more Parasite Eve. We're on day five of the game now. Um, so we're going to do like kind of like the second half of day five. I don't know if we'll be able to run through all of it. Um, but, you know, a good chunk of it. Okay, so last time we did uh, Chinatown, uh, the Chinatown sewers, and then we actually had time to do the subway after that. Okay, so yeah, and then today we're going to do um, the warehouse, and then we'll, we'll also be doing uh, the museum. Sorry, I'm still kind of groggy yet, so like, my mind's trying to catch up with everything here. But yeah, we're going to hit start, load up a game, and we are on disc two now. Just wanted to double check my uh, YouTube feed, make sure it was muted, otherwise it like creates a nasty echo on my video. Oh, let's check my inventory real quick. Okay, so we'll head back to the station first and unload some stuff. how they put the exits on the side where I can't just walk down to the bottom of the screen. Eh, whatever. Okay, so it shows it's nighttime now, but I think when I go to the warehouse it shows that it's daytime. Weird little quirk there, but whatever. The warehouse is an optional area. Um, I'm going there mainly to get, you know, all the upgrades and stuff, and plus you get a rocket launcher, which comes in really handy for the final boss. happily take more free medicine. Okay, so equipment looks good. Whoops. Whoops. see how we're looking for medicine. This part is really tough. Uh, I, I think we'll have enough. So really we did not even need to come back here, but whatever. We, we at least got some free ammo and medicine out of it. 
Oh, you know what I should do, though? Is I should move some of my ammo to the... To the backup crate. Oops, that's not what I want. I want reload. I mean, this really isn't necessary. Um. Because I'll have more than enough ammo. But, you know what? We'll do it anyways. Better save. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh, bonus points. Okay, so we will put one more into speed. Um and some attack power. some critical defense. Okay, now I have a reason to save. Yeah, and the warehouse is really tough and I could very easily die, so better to just be safe than sorry and save my game than have to do all this stuff over again. So let's head to the warehouse. Time and we're gonna head to the warehouse and skadoosh. Hey, look at that! And now it's like, now it's like dusk. So apparently, time reversed in day five. I guess that's uh, Zell Dink the cop, the chicken wuss. Okay, and then there should be a tool right there. Cool. Chest hidden in plain sight. Uh, CM protector. That's actually pretty good, but um, I don't want to switch out of the armor I have right now because you can get five slots on it, and um, it's going to be very important that I have like all the status protection I can. Uh oh.
Okay, well, only one rat is... is okay. Sometimes on this section you have to fight like two rats and two spiders and it, it becomes too much to handle. Okay, and hold on for one second. <clears throat> okay, so... Oh, there should be a grenade launcher in here somewhere. Oh, I think it's in the upper half of the room. There we go. And see that bridge up there? That's going to be a really terrible place to fight. section right here reminds me of... Ooh, shit. It reminds me of shit. No, it reminds me of... Uh... Wow, I'm doing terrible. That map in Carnegie Hall. Spiders are tough to deal with because they have very sporadic movement. So it's like one minute they're in range. Oh, hey Terry. How's it going? <clears throat> Pardon me? Um, like one minute they're in range and then the next minute they're not. got rockets. More armor. Oh yeah, there's a save point up here. Yeah. <laughs> Very straightforward. And I love the fact that you don't actually have to aim. Like, you have to select a target and you can miss, but you don't have to, like, time your shots or whatever. Now we have to do a fight on this shitty ass bridge. Hey, uh, Alessandro, how's it going? Ah, and I'm surrounded. Great. Okay, well, at least I knocked out one of them.
<laughs> the A bridge. Um, yeah, it's pretty stingy with save points. Oh, wait, if I go in here, am I gonna trigger a boss fight right away? Okay, I don't think so. Are you still playing Resonance of Fate? Is that the game you were talking about? Okay, I'm going to head back to the save point and hopefully get my health up a little bit. <laughs> oh, you played, you started playing this when you were eight? That's really cool. I was in my early 20s when I discovered this one. I know there was someone in here last time that said they played it when they were really young and the game freaked them out. Which I could totally understand. Yeah, these spiders kind of suck. Well, it's not so much the spiders, it's the location there. Trying to fight them on that bridge is just not ideal. to try to trigger one more fight. And of course now they won't appear. No, actually I don't I don't really want to go back that way. No, no, no. Here we go. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Wanted to get my parasite energy all the way up. Okay, that's close enough. Make sure we're fully loaded.
Oh, you have an, a Parasite Eve video on your channel? Yeah, that sewer system is really confusing. It's easy to get lost. Luckily, I have a guide sitting right in front of me. Okay. Alright. I was hoping not to trigger an encounter because I have, you know, full health and a full parasite energy bar. Parasite Eve 2 is pretty much like a Resident Evil wannabe with some very light RPG elements. <clears throat> and Parasite Eve 3 is... it's just shit. It's like a crappy action game. Uh-oh, here we go. Okay, so first things first. Oh, shit. That is not a good start. I was hoping he wouldn't use that right away. Because that attack's really hard to avoid. Should have just used a potion there. Cool. One down. Ah. Not good. That's much easier to avoid when you're hasted. It's nearly impossible to dodge otherwise. Oh, and if you're wondering why my uh, why my handgun is hitting multiple targets, I put the burst effect on it. So it's basically like a shot handgun. Which is super effective. Hold on, I'll check the chat in a minute here. There's our rocket launcher. Excellent. Ah! Okay. Um, yeah, it kind of was like Mass Effect 2. Like, not, obviously, Mass Effect 2 is not a survival horror, but, you know, same way where the first game's an RPG and the second game is not. Yeah, that's basically what they did with that series.
yeah, I love all that stuff in this game too. It's it's really cool because it's like really simple combat, but at the same time you have a a nice like customization system. So I love that. <laughs> Did not affect diarrhea. Okay, so. Like it buffered for a second there. Um, is that everything in this room? I think it is. So now we can get the hell out and head to the museum. I really wanted to play Mass Effect. In fact, um, when I originally had my 360, I bought Mass Effect, and then a week later my 360 crapped out, so um, I never got around to playing it, and then I heard the second game was not an RPG, so I'm like, well, now I'm really not interested in the series at all. did my cat go? What are you doing, Simon? <clears throat> oh, really? I heard the first Mass Effect was supposed to have a really great story. Okay, after all that, we definitely better save. Oh, it's mediocre, wow. Hopefully I do not run into a really nasty encounter on the way out. Because if I run into two rats and two spiders, it might be game over. Oh, looks like I'm going to be okay. station and then drop off some stuff like the rocket launcher I definitely don't need that just yet I haven't decided yet if I want to do the level up trick for this playthrough or if I want to save it for EX mode. Basically for anybody that doesn't know, um, I think it's level... between level 38 and 39 re requires like an insane amount of, of uh, experience to level up. But then after that, you only need like 7,000 experience to hit the next level and every level after that. So. Um, once you make it past the 39 threshold, you just start leveling up left and right, and of course your stats go through the roof. Okay, first things first. Digital mode. Engage.
Oh, it wasn't letting you type? That's weird. I've run into that a couple of times when I'm watching people's streams where I go to type something and I can't. Um, what happens a lot... Oh, I don't think I can move that. What happens is either I, like, type something that was, like, banned by that channel or I'm um, accidentally clicked out of the, the chat box and, like, click something else on the screen and it won't let me type. Until I click in the chat box again. Oh, shoot. I should drop off my tools. Uh, okay, medicine four. I can... We can move that for now. Whoops. And yes, I'm hoarding tools for now. It's going to come in really handy when I get a certain gun in the museum. Uh, warehouse key, I don't need that right now. I think we're okay. That should be good. And now we gotta turn analog back on. And let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it's not like Sword of Vermilion where you have like eight slots and then you have like three inventory items you can't get rid of. Actually, it might have been four. Yeah, because I needed like three keys for the final dungeon and then I got the story item like a quest item that I couldn't do anything with so you know half of my inventory was clogged up with shit I couldn't do any that I couldn't get rid of oh my god exist archive has such a crap inventory system like like after about two three hours into the game i stopped like caring like what my characters equipped and i just like optimized it or whatever because you just get so much stuff Yeah, and it doesn't pay to like sit there and like try to try to get the best possible equipment, you know, one by one. Just, you know, hit optimize or whatever it's called and just do it that way. Alright, time for the museum. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do the level up trick. Um, one thing I have to be careful of is there is a point in here where there's like a point of no return where it'll automatically go into day six. So I have to be careful not to trigger that. <laughs> it's heavenly. Yeah, yeah. A ridiculous amount of drops. Who is that? Should I sign in? I don't think I can. Um, can I go in here yet? No fight?
Um, day six is basically the final boss, and that's it. Okay, I have to put this map next to me. This place is pretty huge. <clears throat> but there's like a specific order you have to do everything in. Um, yeah, it's nearly over. It's a really short game. Um, but there is an EX mode. Which basically, um, it lets you play through the game again. Um, you carry over one weapon. Well, you carry over all your weapons and armor, but you can, like, rename one. Um, you can rename one weapon and one armor, and then, um, your stats carry over, but your levels do not. Um, but, like, you, if you have enough, like, stat upgrades, it really doesn't matter because you'll... You'll just, like, tear through the, the, the second, or the EX game, I should say. Um, <clears throat> and then there's also a bonus dungeon, which you shouldn't really approach until day five of your second playthrough, because it's really challenging. Whoa. Damn it. Man, this guy's got a got a um what's the word I'm looking for? A deceptive attack range. Holy bonus points. First things first, let's heal. Okay, we'll put a couple into speed. I could put some in... <coughs> Excuse me, I could put some into inventory slots, um, but that does not carry over to the new game. So I'll basically just be starting my inventory space from uh, scratch. Tool. I think this door is locked. It is. Get away from me. Ah. Uh -huh. Didn't get me that time. These guys aren't anything to worry about. junk. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I was afraid? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I have to keep my eyes out. There's a, a very specific weapon I'm looking for in here. Um, it gives you a command times two. So within the same turn, I can heal and shoot. Yeah, Arya is way harder. But it's really good. I like how, um... Uh, what's his face? I can't think of his name right now, but I like how that character is basically like the blue mage of the Castlevania universe. Yeah, that was a really tough fight. I remember I had to do many retries of that one. So this should take me somewhere else, right? I think. There will be a boss fight here later, a really tough one. But not quite yet. One of my favorite weapons from Aria of Sorrow is like the, the chain sword or whatever, or the whip sword. Oops, what did you say? This dungeon has pretty cool music, but it gets really repetitive after a while, because, you know, you're in here for so long. Especially if you're trying to do the level up trick. Okay, so there's a quiz I can take here. I think. There we go. Any animals are hiding. Yes, I'm cheating. I have played through this game before, so I can cheat all I want. Ah. Uh, no, it's not. But it's still cool. <clears throat> I actually used that instead of uh, some of the stronger weapons for quite a while. Eventually you get stuff though that outclasses it, you know, by a ton. And you just have to switch. A secret area. Let's go here. Yes. Oh, 
another quiz. I want to say mitochondria. And that would be correct. Yeah, I don't know. Have you encountered those, like, giant spider enemies? Those always give me a hard time. Okay, so... Should be three items in this next room. <clears throat> Sorry if me looking at the guide is slowing down the gameplay a little bit. But I do want to get everything. Let's see, what can we do to them? Ah! Got caught on the environment. Oh, get off of me! Oh yeah, I have energy shot. I should use that. Maybe not here. <clears throat> oh, it's not slowing it down? Okay. Oh, my inventory is full. Am I talking like this? What the hell? Okay, that one we can use right away. one we can use right away. Yeah, I try not to slow it down too much because I know how much of a bummer it can be when you hop on somebody's stream and they're like looking at a guide for like five ten minutes. It's like come on man just start pressing buttons. Ooh, and I found a secret room. Ooh, a trading card. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Because there is no cure for the D. And it looks like it's time for more inventory management. Soma, that's... Why couldn't I think of that? That's his name. Well, I wouldn't know because I've never... Uh, Never played Yu-Gi-Oh! Or watched the cartoon series, if there was one. Can you talk with me? Sure. <laughs> no, it's not Shadow Hearts.
Okay, yeah, and unfortunately we'll have to make several trips back to the station. When I do the EX mode playthrough, I will definitely start allocating bonus points to uh, inventory slots because... You know, like I said before, it doesn't carry over from the previous game, but for the next playthrough, it should be fine. Besides, I'll need all the inventory slots I can because I'm going to collect 300 junk pieces which will enable me to get the best gun. Yeah, <laughs> same here. Okay, and as before... Got about half of this inventory filled up now. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, we're only like seven hours into the game and we're almost at the end. Damn, I wish I could get rid of this. Brr. Okay, I don't need all these medicines. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of a few more. Yeah. Yeah, short games can definitely be good like this one. Or, you know, like the first Metal Gear Solid, that one was pretty short, but it was great. Chrono Trigger was short, but great. Hey, Otavio, how's it going? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Without spoiling it, you know, you could say that Bravely Default overstays its welcome. I won't say why. I, I mean, I love that game, but I can understand why people have have problems with it. Yeah. Well, you, did you even make it to the, the problematic second half of the game? Because that's the part where everybody gets fed up with it. Yes, I am.
I am from America. America. Oh, you gave up way earlier? Okay, so where does this go now? You know what? I bet this leads to another area. And that was the Captain Obvious moment of the stream. Uh-oh. Oh, I... Did I forget to save in the lobby? Oh well. Oh, that stinks. This guy's really hard to avoid. Oh. And he has a counterattack. Ah. Oh, you know what? Let's use our energy shot. Yeah, it's so annoying how PSN has, like, has their games, like, not available in all regions sometimes. It's really frustrating. Although, you know, that happens with physical games, too, where, you know, it's released in Japan only, or Japan and North America, or just Europe. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It sucks up your your uh, whole uh, parasite energy bar, though. Okay, what was the nutritional source of the first organism? Nitrogen oxide would be the answer. Oh, you set up an American account and it still didn't work? Get away from me! Fortunately, this dungeon is very generous with healing items. Oh, okay, so you need an address from a, an American credit card. Wow. There's nothing in this room at all. Ah, uh, yeah, yes it is. It's a very awesome battle system. I guess it borrows heavily from Quest 64, which I never played, but I heard it's a pretty mediocre RPG. And the hero's name is Brian. Like, 
That's a great RPG name, huh? Stand back, enemies, for here comes Brian. Yeah, me neither. I pulled my credit card off of PSN. I just used pre -p uh, prepaid cards as well. Chest down here, yes, sir. Grenade launcher. Ooh, a water fountain. Let's get a drink. Okay, so there is a treasure chest back there, but I think I have to enter from the outside. These guys are pretty easy to avoid. I like fighting these things. <laughs> Better all stand back. I suppose. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, another one. The mitochondria creates ATP. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like that. Right, another medicine I don't need. Okay, so I should be on the second floor now. No, where the hell's the map? Uh... <laughs> well, that that guy from Bizarre Foods. I don't know if you ever watched that show. He'd probably eat something like that. There we go. I must have more power. Okay. So I think I know where I am now. <laughs> I 
Get to the chopper. I can't really do a good Arnold voice. At least I don't think I can. <clears throat> oh yeah, I saw that photo. That was disgusting. Well, you should always go down. I could probably do it better if my, my voice is kind of rough this morning. Aha! Gotta say it like Laura Croft, like, aha! Uh, no, I haven't. <clears throat> I have not seen that. <laughs> Gotta practice my Norwegian. How about I practice talking in general? Because obviously I can't handle that. I'll make that a Patreon goal. You know, if I get like 50 bucks a month, I'll learn how to speak properly. I'll learn how to speak proper English. Oh, okay. I will have to check that out after the stream. Oh, you can't get through there. Say what? Okay, so let's go up to the third floor. <laughs> That's okay. See, my thing is, is as long as I can understand what you're trying to say, it's okay. It doesn't have to be proper. All that matters is if the person you're speaking to understands the message you're trying to convey. I'm gonna put the hurt on him. You want me to put the hurt on you? Oh yeah, here we go. Fatality. Dia wins. Nope. Hey, it's another quiz machine. Uh, by taking mitochondria, aging. <laughs> yeah, why does this museum have rockets lying around? That is a very good question. Museum of Natural History and Firearms. Thank you for lining up like that.
right in the ass. Another one. It's okay, I'll take all the free items I can get. Although, it's, to be honest, I have more than enough ammo. Look at that. When I started this dungeon, I had 200 ammo in this crate, and I'm already up to 615. And I haven't even been doing my usual thing of where I take my guns and I, like, you know, unload all their ammo. Okay, so I'm on third floor now. So we'll go through here. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought the stream froze for a second there, because I was looking at my phone and I just saw, like, a, a static screen. I'm like, uh-oh. Nothing I could really do there. Got caught on the environment. Ooh, more junk. Oh, okay, see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so there's a ladder I can get down to the second floor. Let's do that. Hmm. I think there's a revive in that chest up there. They usually don't get me, so it's always a bummer when they actually do. <laughs> Ooh, a revive. Alright. Okay, it's almost time to go back to the station again. Okay, can I get through down here? It's locked. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like The Nightmare Before Christmas. You can watch that for Halloween or for Christmas. Did I go this way? I don't think I did. I can't get through there. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's start making our way back to the station because I'm I'm sure after I get through these next screens, my inventory will be full.
speaking of holiday stuff, I really need to get the Die Hard movies. One and two. Yeah, there's two drawbacks to that attack. It sucks up all your energy and it makes her dazed for a few seconds. So if that doesn't kill the enemy, you can be in a world of hurt. <laughs> ah, dang it. There we go. Yippee ki -yay. Okay, so if I want to get out, I have to go through the second floor and then down to floor one. Hopefully, uh, well, here I don't mind, but hopefully in the next room we don't trigger another scorpion. I really hate those things. Yes. I always love how some of the camera angles in here like kind of simulate the survival horror games in a little bit, like with the slanted cameras. Save our game real quick. <clears throat> Fun fact the uh, Scorpions were the first concert I ever attended. I don't know why, because I really didn't like the Scorpions before then, but I don't know. It was a fun show. Can I not get through here yet? What's my inventory look like? Yeah, let's just get rid of this. I don't have that one anymore, but I still have like a lot of my ticket stubs from the 90s when I used to go to concerts a lot. It's kind of crazy looking at a ticket and seeing it's from like 1995. I 
I wish like good bands came up here to where I live in Green Bay, Wisconsin, but um, they usually stick to like Milwaukee and Madison, so it sucks I really can't go to anything any anymore. I am uh, 43. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we'll just use that one. Full cure. Ugh. I'll save that one. It could come in handy, but I'll just save it for now. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, I have bonus points. Hey. <laughs> that's a lot of nuts. What the hell, man? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, what the hell? More speed is always good. Um, hmm. Do defense. Um, I, honestly, I really don't, but I just like to keep them just in case. Kung Pao. I haven't seen that one. I've seen Kung Fu Hustle. Yes, I understand the ways of the RPG. This game uh, brought forth advances in uh, footstep sound technology. Because every surface she runs on has a different sound. It's pretty freaking snazzy. Okay, so I guess we have to go through here again. And make our way up to the third floor. And then we can come down to the second. As long as I don't trigger the T-Rex boss fight, we're in good shape for me being able to, like, get out of here. And actually, I think I can still leave after that, but if I... If I, like, go up to the fourth floor, I think then I'm in trouble. <laughs> Wait, can I go up this way? 
Did I go up this way? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I recognize the quiz machine. Okay, so this is locked down here, I believe. Yeah, the first two Grandia games are really kick-ass. I need to play more of Grandia Digital Museum. Um. I only played it a little bit to capture some footage, but I, I really want to see what that game's all about. Oh, I can't get through here. It's as if I can't go that way. <laughs> They're so loud in Grandia too. I really, really want to get the Dreamcast version of that one again. I mean, the PlayStation 2 version is playable, but... Ah. You know, I'd rather have the original. Got me. Pump. Got me again. Cool. <clears throat> Getting lots of bonus points for avoiding attacks, which is always great. <laughs> ting, 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 ting. Um, I haven't tried the remaster, but, you know, I'm not really into the digital stuff, so I'd much rather have a physical copy. Hmm, let's see. We'll do attack. Oh yeah, I'm going this way. From what I heard though, the remaster is really good. But yeah, if, if I'm going to get something uh, digitally, I'd rather just emulate it. I hate paying for digital items. Oh man, how do you get me? Now, a hard difficulty would be really cool. Because those first two games are easy as hell. And it, that's really the only gripe I have with the first two games, is they're just so easy. Okay, so that one is locked. Oh shit.
a lot of this game is just about avoiding and then counterattacking. Ooh. That was not how to avoid. Evade and counter. Yeah, that's understandable. Okay, so that's the only item in there. shoot some stuff at me. There we go. Oh, there's a, there's a physical PC version of the game? I did not know that. Of the old one, but... But still, I didn't know that. Oh, another one. He's gonna attack me with the silent P. He uses that to blind his enemies. So there shouldn't be anything in that room. And I think after... Oh, no fight. I think I should be able to trigger a cutscene now. Or not. Hmm. Ooh, that one gives you an extra inventory slot. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the other door over here is locked, and I believe we have to climb out that window. Right? Well then don't slip. Problem solved. Yep, you should always go down. Oh, okay, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Cat's interested in some birds outside. He's interested in this. Cool. 
getting to be fast enough where I don't have to worry about waiting to dodge a second attack. Should always go down. Okay, so we're on the second floor now. Nothing in this room. I can't get out that way, so... It's like we gotta go this way. Oh, were you thinking of Hammer from Xenogears? Oh, you bastard. Were you ex expecting him to start saying bro a lot? Oh, crap. Here, I do need Cure P. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't move, dirtbag. Okay, so now I can trigger a cutscene, I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I did. But what the hell, I freed up some inventory space. Okay. Defense upgrade. <laughs> I guess so. I saw an episode of uh, CSI like that where they were drinking pee for like health benefits or something. tool. I can deal with a small fry. So one thing that sucks about handguns is they have a short range. Ah. Bear gorillas. 
I'm not familiar with him, but I know he's like a survival guy. Pterodactyl's waiting to unleash something. There it is. I suppose I should have attacked him first. There we go. I think that guy's glitched out. Cool. Oh man, I ruined it. <laughs> P makes you stronger. Uh, sure. I will take your word for that. Check out the monitors. Oh shit. She's here. Okay, so I believe that opens up all the gates. Yeah, we'll go to the secret area back here. I think the fourth floor is the only one I can access from here. <laughs> you gotta be crazy to drink that. That one nullifies poison. I will definitely want to steal that ability. Oh, yeah, we're getting rid of that. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> nullifies poison. Alright, so we're gonna go back down to third floor? No, second floor. It won't open. Ah. I did not even know about that secret until I looked at the guide. 
Like when I originally played it, I had no idea there was an elevator back there. Alright, but yeah, um, that's gonna wrap things up for today. Um, next time we should at least be able to finish up the museum, maybe uh, the final day as well. But yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out, and I will see you guys later.